A high school in Fort Worth celebrates a big grand opening today to help students in high risk communities fight hunger, but it is just one part of a program to help them thrive. And so by the end of the year, this program will spread to uh, more districts here in North Texas. Our Larry Collins following that story for us here this morning, live from the newsroom. Larry, good morning. Good morning. Look, guys, it all boils down to a grocery store of all things, but it's on campus and it's run by students. The latest one opens today at Fort Worth ISD's Wyatt High School. Texas Health were able to share with us a look at what the first school district was able to accomplish with the same program called Thrive. This is Sanger ISD, where the first group of students participated back in 2019. In Fort Worth, Wyatt High School was chosen because its zip code has families who are experiencing acute health challenges and food insecurity. There's also higher instances of high blood pressure and diabetes in that zip code compared to the rest of the city. The goal is to give children the tools to overcome overcome trauma and improve their physical and mental health, all while giving the students and their families access to healthy food. So it's, it's increasing healthier coping mechanisms to deal with what life throws at you. It could be your food security, it could be your risk for homelessness or the fact that you're homeless, domestic violence, even divorce. Um, all those things are different social determinants of health that affect kids um, and their ability to cope and their ability to go to school. Now, Sanger ISD's program showed the power of the program overall. In one school year, more than 150 students were referred to wraparound services that included counseling, resiliency scores increased almost 17 percent, and two food banks were able to serve around 500 families. By the end of this year, the plan now is to extend the Thrive program to eight other schools across North Texas. There are currently programs in schools in Dallas and Louisville. In the newsroom, Larry Collins, NBC5. Okay, Larry, thank you. If you are in need of food assistance, would like to volunteer or make a donation, head to our website, nbcdfw.com slash fighting hunger.